What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. As always, this is John, Backwoods Off-Road and Overlanding. And today, man, today we're gonna to be talking about toolkits. So the question here that we wanna answer is, what kind of toolkit is right for me? So, roll intro. Okay guys, let's get into it. Uh, if you've been following the channel, you know I've been making some toolkits here. Uh, I'm gonna throw a link. I don't know which side of the screen. I always get it wrong. So go check out www.journeytobaja.com as I build these toolkits that are gonna be available. But I digress from that. Just wanted to throw that out there. So, so toolkits. Man, if you're out here riding and you're thinking, man, what, what do I need? Well, you know, we talk about a lot of things on this channel, guys, and like I've said before, the answer to any question is, it depends. Where are you riding? Are you trailing your bike to ride somewhere? Are you riding solo? Are you riding with your buddies? Are you, you riding state to state? Are you you riding a lot of back roads? Are you, are you riding 30 minutes from the house by yourself down some dirt roads and, you know, somebody's a phone call away? So... So many things come into play when you need to determine what's on your bike. So, and when you're riding, of course, you know, the less weight you got, uh, the better your bike handles and you're not weighed down. So I'm gonna go through a few things here, kind of give you some thoughts and ideas. Um, let's say here I got, let's say I've got, let's say three levels of kits right here for the most part. <clears throat> um, I guess these two are pretty similar here, but a little bit bigger case. So we've got a tool kit here, and this is just a basic bare bones, man. I want to keep shit from falling off my bike, stuff from coming loose. So, so we've got our wrenches are we need, we've got zip ties, we've got mechanic wires, we've got some electrical tape, we've got some duct tape, man, we've got some vice grips. So this is a, a bare bones, I don't want stuff falling off my bike, I'm not going too far, yada, yada, yada. Uh, this is basically the same thing here. We got some, we got we got a nice little tool roll here as well. We've got our wrenches. Actually, with this one here, we got a couple extra wrenches. Nice pair of vice grips, of course, to keep things from coming loose. We've got zip, zip ties. We've got more tape. We've got more wire. We've got a flashlight, and then we've also got some cooling wipes. Let's say something I need to add to this kit right here while I'm here, man. Nice little, nice little, uh, nice little first aid ouchie boo boo kit, man. So you don't want to be cutting and scraping. Okay, so something like these two kits here. I'm riding out by myself with my buddies. Yada yada this, yada yada that. Man, I break down. Man, I call my old lady. Hey, man, bring the trailer. I, I, I lay my bike over. Blah blah blah. Come get me. Something falls off. I can get it secured one way or the other. I can get it secured back on the bike and most likely continue riding, enjoy the rest of the day and make it to the house. Now, if you really wanna be prepared, um, this is a kit that I'm putting together here, which I'm still waiting some more stuff to come in guys, but but I, I'm putting together an all, all inclusive, everything you need to fix everything on this flipping 300 L guys. So as you know, man, I got my, my Trail Jack OG. I'm gonna make it a couple models of this. And guys, man, these will be for sale. These will be for sale here on uh, journeytobaja.com, man. Make sure you go check that site out. So I'm gonna jump in and kind of show you, uh, give you a little brief rundown of what I've got so far, and then we'll talk about some of the things that I'm looking to add. So uh, first and foremost is, is first aid. I've got my recon medical bleed kit here. Um, I've got this kit, and I've also got another kit from my medic. And I'm actually looking to get a hookup with my medic, so we'll be having some products coming from them here pretty soon. And if you haven't seen my medic, man, they've got some of the best. They've got some of the best first, first aid kits on the market, in my opinion. So definitely go check them out and keep your eyes on uh, Journey to Baja website because once we get some in, we'll be adding them to our kits, and most likely we'll be uh, selling them individual and maybe save you guys a few bucks. So we've got a recon medical. On the front of my bike, I've got my my Tusk Fender bag. I did a did a did a review on that. Very nice bag, uh, and that holds my tire spoons and my tire tube. Which, man, I need, I still need to get a damn tire tube. I ain't got to buy a tire bought a tire tube yet. <clears throat> so add to that to the tire repairs. 
Uh, this here is another tire kit here. We've got the, the old school CO2 and actually this particular kit is for my Grom because it's tubeless tires. So a lot of the stuff we won't need for my 300L. So I might have to change that around a little bit. So we'll set that over there. Now getting into the, the meat and potatoes here. I'm gonna get this out of the way because we got, a, we got a little bit to look at here. I'm gonna try and keep this man as short as I can. I like to ramble guys. So we're gonna try and hit that 12 minute mark. It's my old Rothko bag here. I picked up very sweet. Man, we've got electrical tape. We've got zip ties, guys. Man, we've got Gorilla Tape. We've got uh, heat wrap, heat shrink. I'm gonna get into this in just a second. I'll show you what these are. We've got cinch straps, electrical tape. Man, who has a manual tire pump? Never runs out of air. And this is gonna come down to one of those. Uh, the mentality I've got is uh, two is one and one is none. So, man, a backup to your backup always have, man. So these are small, light. That Man, this will probably fit. Man, actually, that probably fit very well in this tool roll. So we've got a nice bicycle tire pump. Uh, I've got a kit here. Actually, oh, I've been I used a razor blade. Nice multi-tool, man. Nice pliers, cutters, strippers, a little extra, you know, this and that. Very nice to have. So we've got that. We've got mechanics wires. We've got crescent wrench. We've got a nice pry bar slash hammer. And then also we've got some JB Weld quick seals for plugging things up. So um, some of the things I still need to add, uh, chain tools. I've got my trail jack. Uh, I, I definitely want to add some aluminum can to this here. You never know when you got to do a, a muffler splice, lay your bike into a tree. Uh, let's see, what else do I, am I missing, man? Um, let's toss this over here. Now into the good stuff, man, the electronics, man. I got two things here that, man, oh, man, that's Wally World, guys, man. Wally World. <clears throat> man, hyper tough. Man, look at the size of this thing. I don't think I've showed this to you guys yet, but this is a pretty sweet little pump, and it is very well self-contained, and it just... That connection, it just pops in there, and then you screw it in there. Boom, 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 boom. Man, turn it on. And I don't know if I charge this bad boy up or not. Turn her on, green light, man, and you just... Guys, you just go to town. You just go to town. And one great thing about this, let's see, I forget how much this thing weighs. It didn't weigh that much. Let's move this thing here out of the way. One pound, four ounces. Man, one great thing about this, comes in a nice little sack. This also doubles as a battery bank. So you can charge your iPhone, your Android, your electronics, anything you've got, you can charge up with this. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, another thing here I've been testing out here, and man, I'm glad I got this. This is nice. So, <clears throat> so one thing about our bikes here, it's they're fuel injected, they're not carbureted, and Man, this is one of those things that just, just gonna, it's just gonna leave you dead in the water, man. Uh, at least a flat tire. If you get a flat tire, you can run that bad boy on a rim. You might cause some more damage and have to get a new rim, but you could get out of a sticky situation if you had to. Now, with these fuel injected bikes, you got ECUs, you got fuel injectors, you got your computer, you got your relays, and man, a dead battery. A dead battery can happen at any time, man. You get off, you take a break, you leave your bike on, you leave your lights on, you're not paying attention. Man, shit happens, guys. So I picked this up here. Let me go ahead and weigh it because I know it's pretty freaking light. Man, it is, it is one pound, two ounces. It's actually two ounces less than our little tire pump here. And all this, guys, all this fits in my bag. Even my trail jack fits in this Rothko bag here, guys. So I'm excited to get some more of those put together. But this here is the Everstart Max Jump Starter. Man, this thing is pretty dang nifty. I have done used it several times. Actually, straight out of the box, I had to jump my kid's Razor off, you know, a little 170, because the weather here has been so bad. We ain't been riding a lot, and dang, that little battery died on it. But man, it is pretty simple. It lights up, got your little clamps, and man, 
I don't know how many times you can jump start our bikes here, but man, it, it cranks up that 170, man, like it's got a brand new battery. And just like this tire pump, guys, this doubles, this doubles as battery bank. Man, all you gotta do, here's a little charging cable. You just keep the cable with you, which you should have your cables with you anyway. So, so you got two backups here to your charging. So if you got onboard charging, that's great. Now I've got, ooh, I've got this. I'm going on a long trip. I'm going moto camping. Man, I need a few extra things and yada, yada. And um, so that's that. Let's see, what am I missing? Um, I know I'm missing something that I haven't thought about. Let's check, let's check my drawers here. I got, I got little goodies everywhere, guys. Oh, yeah, I'm saying I ordered this. I'm still waiting for this to come in. I need to add my, I, I didn't order a nice little quarter inch set. This is my quarter inch ratchet set that I keep in my box. This is what I work on all my bikes in the shop. So this is not going on my bike. This stays in my toolbox. So we'll have, I got some nice stuff coming in. We'll check that out, guys. And, um, Man, in the meantime, man, I'm sure there's a lot of live videos out there. Do some thinking, do some searching. Man, like I said before, go check out journeytobaja.com, man. We're going to have some toolkits coming out on there. And before long, hopefully in the next, man, few weeks, maybe a month or two, we'll have a build-your-own kit, guys. So, and really what we're focusing on is buying what you need, not what you don't need, man. I, I, one thing I hate, man, all these big companies sell these two, $300 toolkits, guys. And, and I've been looking at them, and man, you do, they give you 20% of the tools you're not even gonna need for your bike. So you're paying all that extra money for tools you don't need. So, so guys, that's why I'm trying to put these toolkits together for you, for you guys. If you see something that we need to add, I need to add to this, something you'd like to see, man, Comment down below, let me know, reach out to me on Instagram, go follow me. Some of you guys are damn, message me on Facebook, which is great guys. I love hearing from you, I love talking to you. So, man, I'm I'm about out of breath and the old lady just got off of work early. So man, we're gonna go watch that new Ghostbusters, guys. I bought it the other day and still ain't got to watch it. So, but like I said, I'm gonna repeat this. What tool kit do I need when I'm riding, guys? Man, it depends. How far you riding? What's your comfort level? I mean, it's not really gonna come down to your skills because everything you see in front of you is tools. It's not like, you know, it's not like we're going out camping and I need to survive and build a fire and do this and do that. It's when something breaks, you need tools. You're not gonna go freaking cut a, cut a tree down and fix something on your bike. I mean, you could use a piece of tree, you know, to keep your bike jacked up to, you know, fix a flat, but that's, that's really about it, guys. You know, um, Man, before I go, I want to show you one more thing. One more thing I'm working on. Man, we installed our AXP Racing skid plate here. They're helping sponsor the channel, guys, get some parts. And I've actually, since I had this skid plate, I had to uh, re-engineer the use of my trail jack here I've got. So I made this little hook here in. We're gonna do some testing. I'm going to go get this girl stuck in the swamp, and, man, I'm going to see if we can make a tow hook out of this. But we got to do some testing first, and that's going to be an awesome video. So keep your eyes out in the next week or two, and we're going to do some pretty cool testing out in the swamp, guys, in the mud. We're going to get this girl We're gonna get this girl stuck and see if we can't get her out with that and see how rugged it is. So hopefully this didn't go too long, guys. Um, I'm going to go inside, kick back, relax, guys, finish the rest of your weekend. Uh, I'll be posting this in the morning. It'll be Sunday. So don't forget, giveaway ends tomorrow night. Um, so far, we got a few entries. Uh, if I only get a couple guys, uh, you, you guys might get lucky, and I'll send everyone a, a tool roll. So go get that in there. Do an entry there. And, man, I'll have another giveaway coming up pretty soon. We're, we're uh, Me and old Jay Church is working on getting a nice uh, some, some more sponsors and trying to get a nice big kit for you guys, do a little giveaway, actually a big giveaway. So, so keep an eye out for that, guys. And like I said, 2022 is going to be a big year. So thanks for watching. Make sure you go hit that sub button. Keep on riding.